Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another product because you guys seem to like these a lot. So I'm reviewing a water bottle. And actually, it's not the water bottle itself, it's actually the cap, it's called the Crazy Cap. That's the thing that we're really testing here, but it did come with the bottle. Anyway, it claims that it is self-cleaning. So we're gonna be testing that and all the things that come along with this in this whole video. Hey y'all, so for this week's video, I thought I'd do something kind of interesting. I want to test something that I saw online. I get ads for this all the time, actually, now that I think about it. But it is a self-cleaning water bottle. And that's a little intriguing. I don't really know if it's gonna work. So I decided I'd test it. Right now it is actually charging. I'm not sure how long the charge time is. I probably should have known that. Um, I'll read the instructions and I'll put it here. It's been charging for a couple hours. This is what it looks like. I'll show you. When it has the charger connected, this is what it looks like. It's pretty much just like the lid is like the charger. I don't really know how to describe it, but like it, there's just like a cap that goes on it and that's what charges it. And then the actual water bottle itself just kind of looks like a normal water bottle. So, I mean, this, this is like just a water bottle. I would totally use this. So if it actually does self clean, then I would definitely use this. So we're gonna test it right now. It should be charged. It says that it should last a week once you charge it. So it should last me for seven days. We're gonna test that as well. So let's get going. So I just spent a couple hours at the office and I brought the water bottle with me. Honestly, I don't really know what it's doing. Like on the instructions, it said to press this button and it turns green, but it doesn't like do anything. So I don't know if I read the instructions wrong or if it, oh wait, it's blue. Wait, no, that was just a car. I need to read the instructions again because honestly, it just seems like a normal water bottle to me. It is a pretty good water bottle. Like there's still ice. But as far as the cleaning, like, I don't really know how to tell if it's actually cleaning it or not. And like, does it use the water that- I'm so confused. I need to- I need to read the instructions again. I mean, water bottle? 10 out of 10. Cleaning part? I'm still- I- I, I don't know yet. Still, like, honestly, when you just put the water in the dishwasher, I don't know why you'd have to buy a self-cleaning water bottle. Or maybe it's just like a substitute, like, w when it gets dirty, then instead of putting it in the dishwasher, you just plug it in and then like, clean it. I- I don't know. It just kind of seems like a water bottle to me. All right, y'all, so this morning, uh, well, just today in general, I have a bunch of soccer games, so I'm deciding to bring the water bottle to see how long, how long it lasts, if it lasts. Also, it's supposed to rain, so we're testing if it's waterproof. Pretty much everything in general, just how it does with sports throughout the day. So, we're gonna be testing that, and we're gonna see. All right, y'all, so I just got back from my soccer tournaments and everything, and I actually went to Waco yesterday, and, the water bottle and i'm pretty impressed by it like as far as water bottles go it it held its own like i've had hydroflask and stuff like that it i'm not saying i don't think it holds ice as well as hydroflask do but it's pretty on par with it like if you're looking for water bottles that are going to stay cold this one does stay cold and it doesn't dent as easily as hydroflask do like i dropped it a couple times and had it in my bag and like in my car i mean it's pretty durable um, it does look like the batteries are still on, which is good. It's not dead yet. Oh, it actually might have just died. <laughs> now it's flashing red all of a sudden. All right, so I thought I would sit down and kind of go over my review, or kind of like what I thought about it and everything like that. First things first, it calls itself like a self-cleaning water bottle, but it's not exactly. I kind of thought that was a little misleading. So when I first tested it, I was expecting, I mean, when I opened it, I was like, oh, this kind of just looks like a normal water bottle, which I guess is good um, because it doesn't look like anything that's ugly. Like it looks like a normal water bottle. Like the cap isn't super bulky or anything like that. And even the charger, and the char charger is pretty simple. Like it just puts on like that and you just plug it in. That's it. So, I mean, it's pretty simple and I do like that. Um, but I was expecting a like something a little bit more complicated where when I turn it on, maybe like there's some sort of jet stream in there or something that would like clean the water or something comes down and like mixes it around. That's more what I was expecting. And at first, actually when I tried it, I was like, I don't think this is working. Like there's no noise. I was really confused. And then I figured out that it's all by UV light, but I'm not really sure how clean that on their website, it does say that you that it does clean. It has some scientific like stuff that you can check out, but I'm not really sure how 
how practical that is. I expected to like turn it on and like hear kind of like this like movement in the water bottle. I don't know why I expected that. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen because to me that seems like it was cleaning itself. But in reality, it's actually cleaning the water inside of the water bottle. So it's more of a purifier. I wouldn't call it a self-cleaning water bottle, but I guess in a way when it does purify the water, it is cleaning the water bottle. So that was kind of the, my first thing where I was like, oh, that's like a little weird. Then as I went on, I researched more about the cap itself. So on their website, it says that it's not the water bottle that does anything, it's the cap. And they actually made the cap so that it can go on any water bottle or most water bottles. I feel like most water bottles have like the caps kind of like this size that you can change in and out. The way that it works is it has a UV light in the cap and when you turn it on, it basically somehow the UV cleans the water. I didn't really have to do much testing with that because I feel like water, all the water that I have here is clean already. I guess I could take some pond water and we could actually test that if we wanted to. But the cap itself, I mean, it did work. It lasted all week. I had to plug it in to charge it. I'm not really sure how long I left it in, maybe like an hour or two. It did last all week. It actually just died today, but I believe I started using it on like Sunday or Monday. So it lasted a week or a little bit longer than a week. So I was impressed by that. The water bottle itself, this water bottle, it held stuff like really well, it held cold, it held hot. I mean, I took it on a road trip. I took it uh, at soccer tournaments. It didn't get any dents. Very impressed with that because I feel like hydroflots are always getting dented. So I did like that a lot. As far as actually like, would I buy this product? I'm not sure because I feel like, I don't know if this is bad, but when I use water bottles, I don't like wash them every two days. Like, like I don't know why you would have to wash your water bottle that often. So for $70, it seems kind of like pretty pricey for that. I don't know why you wouldn't just buy another water bottle. But then at the same time, because this did hold cold like Hydro Flask do, maybe you do just buy this instead because it does have this attached to it. I'm not really sure, that's kind of up to you. But they do, like this isn't the name, brand one. There is one called Lark that is kind of more the name brand. It's more pricey, but again, I'm not really sure what the, like, why, why spend that much money on something when it's just cleaning it? I don't know if that's just me. Like, I'd rather spend five minutes cleaning it in the morning than spend $120 on a self-cleaning water bottle. So those are kind of my personal thoughts after using it. I thought it was really interesting the way that it works. Like, you literally just tap it. It's probably dead now. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> but you tap the lid and it like lights up and it basically, you can't hear anything, but it just like UV lights it. I did find this interesting though, when looking on their website, you can actually use the cap on a lot of other things. So they're like, if you hover the cap on uh, just like above your iPhone or above the keyboard, it is supposed to destroy most germs as well. So again, I'm not really sure why you wouldn't just like wipe it down with Clorox wipes or something like that, because I feel like it does the same thing and it's a way less time. Um, but if you're into this thing, then that's definitely something that you might like. So when actually reading it on their website, it says that it doesn't remove all particles or chemicals because then I was like, oh, maybe you'd use this water bottle if you were in like Flint, Michigan with that whole crisis, the water crisis, maybe you'd use it there, but it doesn't remove fluoride. So that wouldn't really help people in that situation. So I'm not really sure like what it does. It, on their website, it also does have pictures of people hiking and it's like, oh, it can clean pond water. But then it says something weird where it's like, it has to be transparent to begin with. So it's like, how? How much does it actually clean and how much can you actually trust it? I'm not really sure. I think I'd rather just buy like a water purifier or something like that instead of this um, because it seems a little like there's not like really direct lines of what it actually cleans. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I feel about this at the end of the day. I mean, it is a great water bottle. I used it as a water bottle, but I didn't I didn't find myself using the cleaning thing as much as I like actually use a water bottle, if that makes any sense. So I'd rather just buy a normal water bottle than buy the cap that seemed to cost more than a normal water bottle. Like I normally use water from a Brita filter and it tastes, it tasted pretty similar to that. So if y'all will try this water bottle, click the floor right here to tell me if you would buy it or if you wouldn't, if, you, if it's worth it, what you guys think. All right, so all in all, I think that I would personally not buy this product. Just, I mean, I'm the only thing I can think of is if I was a hiker or somebody athletic who was doing stuff outside all the time where I didn't have access to clean water, then I might try this. But even then, it just to me in my brain, it doesn't make sense that it gets cleaned by a light. And I, I mean, there's probably, it probably is scientifically proven that that works. But to me, I just can't trust that because I'm like, I'm not gonna put dirty water in here and then it, not open it again and then drink it. Like, I'm like, where do the germs go? I have no idea. So personally for me, as a normal kid who just goes to high school, has access to clean water, um, I probably wouldn't be using this water bottle. All right, well, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Even though it was just 
pretty much at the end of the day a water bottle. I wasn't super impressed by it. Um, but thank you all for watching this anyway. If you guys want to see some more of these kind of reviews or testing, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And uh, I will see you guys next week. Bye.